How are we doing, everybody? Who do I have in the class here? I see Marcy, I see Bill, I see the Order Library. This is um, photos and videos for Google Maps. And obviously, I'm here, well, let me see. I am here in my bedroom, but you see a virtual screen. Here we go. Um, now you can see I'm in my, in my home. Hello, Bill. Hey, Johnny. All right. Hey, I liked you better when you were at the International Space Station. Uh, I, I, I could go back to that. It makes it a little hard to share my screen, though, sometimes. You can, everybody sees the uh, little, little handout I made up here. So uh, basically, um, a lot of people um, use Google Maps every day to find out where they're going. You use the, your phone, you put in your GPS, and uh, away you go. It's uh, very easy to, uh, to navigate. But what a lot of people don't know is uh, you can add photos to, uh, to Google Maps. And oftentimes, if you're looking for a restaurant or looking for a park or whatever, you will find um, photos that people have posted. And I am what they call a Google guide. And what, a Google, what is a Google guide? Well, I have a video here. This, uh, this is actually the Google guide YouTube page. See how this all ties in? Yeah. And so this is a little, I was watching a couple different videos on here. We have a lot of good videos to share. Um, not that I want to make the class sharing their videos, but I, it kind of gives you an idea what Google Guides are. Hi everyone, I'm Sumed and I'm a local guide on Google Maps. Today I'm going to show you how to get started as a local guide. First, let's talk about who local guides really are. Have you ever used Google Maps to find out if a restaurant is vegetarian friendly or checked out photos of a place before you got there? Have you ever double-checked if a destination was worth the trip by looking at its star rating? If so, you can probably thank a local guide. Local guides are everyday people who share information on Google Maps to help others make decisions about where to go. There are millions of local guides across hundreds of countries who share photos, reviews and give factual edits about all kinds of places like restaurants, hotels, beaches, tourist spots, shops and much more. The information local guides share appear on Google Maps when you're searching for something. In some cases, a local guide might have added that place on Google Maps themselves. Lots of the photos you see on Google Maps are taken by local guides. These photos might tell you whether tacos are on the menu or whether a building is accessible for travelers with disabilities. You can spot a local guide's review on Maps wherever you see an orange badge next to the reviewer's name. Local guide reviews might tell you details like whether a museum is free for students on Fridays or whether a public bathroom is clean. If you're in the Google Maps app, you'll see an explore menu at the bottom of your phone screen that recommends sites, events and hotspots in the neighborhood. Check out the list section where you might see one created by a local guide. Some lists have the orange Google local guides patch, which are curated based on places that have great ratings and reviews from our community. Now that you know who local guides are and how they help surface great recommendations on Google Maps, watch the next video to learn how to become a local guide. Um, you ever hear of the word crowdsourcing? It's basically a way for them to get um, crowds, in other words, people, people all over the world to, uh, to do their work for them. In other words, taking pictures and doing reviews and whatnot. Uh, for free or for very cheap. So that's basically, there's, there are some perks to being a Google guide. Um, for instance, I believe I've gotten like six months of uh, free storage. Um, and they have gatherings, although not right now, where they, uh, they pick the best Google guides and they all have some kind of convention or something like that. So maybe I'll get picked for that one day. So that's me, I'm a Google guide. And see, so, yeah, you could put in uh, as much or as little bit information as you want. I didn't disclose too much information, just my email address, my birthday, if you want to send me a card. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to share too much information. I'm already sharing a lot of information by showing everybody where I'm going, right? 
And I understand there's people that do not want to, you know, want to remain anonymous on the internet, and that's very understood. Uh, so if that if you're one of those people, maybe this isn't something for you. Okay. Uh, however, I'm I'm all, I'm out there, so I'm you know I'm sharing this with with basically the world. Okay. Okay. Now it says here that I'm a uh, local guide level seven, which I guess is good. I have 10,000 points. Um, here are some of my uh, reviews. Uh, you ever see that, you ever go to a restaurant and you see people taking pictures of their food? It's a good chance they're Google <laughs> guides. <laughs> um, it's, you know, I mean, it, it kind of helps people. This is just a salad I got at Hooters, you know. Uh, and then he, these are some of my photos, okay? Now, I'm just going to skip past the, uh, the first set of photos, so I want to come back to that uh, and explain it. Okay. So, uh, for instance, there we go. Are we seeing the Causeway Bridge? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, I went on a bike ride. And whenever I go on my bike ride, I have, I should show you my setup. I have my uh, bicycle. I have a, a mount uh, for my, you know, like a holder for my phone. And I haven't gotten it to where I can take pictures, good pictures from the handlebars. I need a, I need higher handlebars or a higher mount. But uh, this was my ride on the uh, Causeway Bridge. Or that this is the, uh, the Clearwater Bridge. I'm sorry. This is the, the bridge going into Clearwater. And so I got some very good photos. Now look at some of these numbers here. You see the 412? This was just a couple of weeks ago. I already got you know, over 400 views. Well, uh, pretty neat. Yeah. So now we're at John Chestnut Park, you know? It's like wherever I go, I make sure that I take a photo. And then you can, you can, you can upload them immediately to Google Maps or you can wait till you get home. You can do them from your phone or you can do it from your computer. Okay, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But you can see that uh, it doesn't take long to get uh, quite a bit of views. This one was in Safety Harbor. I saw a guy with a kayak. I said, this is a perfect photo op. Boom, I got 1400 views already. Okay, and then sometimes I'll go to like oddball places. Like I was near, uh, my friend's house in Tampa, and there was just this little park. This is like on the other side of the bay, uh, over in Tampa, and there weren't a lot of um, pictures of this park, the Soto Park, it's called, uh, not Fort DeSoto. This is uh, over at Port of Tampa. So I, I posted some photos, and they got quite a bit of views because look, what, this one's got eleven thousand views. This is only you know a couple of weeks ago. So. Um, it's a good way to get your photography seen, you know? There's also ways to put video up, but um, you know, I, I've gotten quite a bit of it. And every time you post a photo, um, you get points. And you know, every time you get points, you go up another level. So that's how I got to level seven, okay? Um, just little simple things like posting a picture of a Starbucks cup. You know, now this is, you know, my little artistic, uh, you know, you can tell that I got my bicycle here. I got my cup. This was in downtown Safety Harbor. Um, so it helps out the local community. And then also um, I got 600 views there. Okay. So you can do this. I mean, you can do this every time you go somewhere, just take a picture, you know. Um, Here's, uh, here's uh, the dog, Summer, you know. Pretty much any time I take Summer somewhere, I, I, I put Summer up and, uh, and she becomes the mascot, you know. So look, Screaming Jalapeno, 1,100 views, you know. So it's fun, you know. If, if nothing else, I think it's fun to, to put your photos up for people to see them. And uh, I've had people say, hey, I was in Safety Harbor and, and I saw some of your photos. I said, cool, you know, that's, that's great. You know, even like, a, like an ice cream sundae from Culver's, look at that, 3,200 views. Okay, 
so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of potential here you know and if you're someone that um i mean basically you know you can post photos on facebook you can post videos on youtube you know this is kind of something else that that i do to um uh, to have my work seen you know so um anybody have any questions anybody want to see me upload some photos yes marcy on my can you hear marcy i can hear marcy yes okay does google tell you that um hey no we don't have any pictures of this park can you go over there or do you just do that on your own yeah. no that would yeah that would be uh no, it, it, it doesn't tell you anything. I, that in the three or, in the three years or so that I've been doing it, um, I've had very little interaction. Every once in a while, they'll send you an email. Uh, you know, they have, you know, up until COVID started, we they, they were having, I guess, meetings and things like that. I haven't been a part of that. Um, but, um, yeah, they, they, um, they have very little interaction with, with you. It's, it's basically just, you know. You go out. I mean, I, I've gone out and, and posted, you know, like a hundred photos a day, and and you know, I don't hear anything. <laughs> so, oh. but but you can you can bet that people are looking at it because I I can tell by the views. You know, go ahead. Well, what's been your most successful photo? What you had one eleven thousand? That's pretty good. Uh that's a very good question. There's actually a way. Hey, let me share my screen again. Okay, I'm going to come up here, and this doesn't answer your question, Bill, but just to give you an example. There was 1,700 right there. Oh, there. You had 11,000. I had, uh, this is, let's see. I want to show you this because you all know where this is, right? Yes. That's, that's yeah, St. Petersburg. <laughs> yeah, St. Petersburg. I took that 15 years ago, Okay. <laughs> And I decided when I was going to do this class, I'm like, you know what? I want something that's going to get some views, you know? So I just put this up about uh, three days ago, and it's already got 2,000 views, which is pretty good. Uh, because it's a place everybody goes every day. Even now, I'm, I'm guessing it's, I don't know if it's even open now for people to go in. Um, but um, but you can upload you know photos from your computer. You can upload photos from your phone. So I just wanted to kind of show the different. Um, that one I probably should have turned the other way because it's a good photo. Uh, but yeah, all these Roman Coliseum uh, photos got uh, quite a bit of views, uh, except the one with me in it. I didn't get a lot of views of that. I was trying to. I don't know. I was trying to look Italian there. I don't know if that, <laughs> I look kind of. Yeah. Hey, John, you always look Italian. <laughs> uh, this was um, this was a hope. This was out. This is out on the um, the hotel in in Italy. Um, there's me with a pizza. <laughs> I always got to bring pizza into the uh, into the conversation, right? Yep. So this is the Pantheon in Italy. Uh, that one got twenty seven hundred views. Um, so yeah, um, to answer your question, Bill, there's actually a way to um, views. These are these are all my. Uh, we'll get to reviews in a second. I have 1,724 photos. Wow. Um, yeah, that's a lot of photos. Um, maybe that's too many. I don't know. <laughs> but um, in my opinion, you know, the, the more photos you, uh, there's, uh, there's summer again. That's at the park down the street. Okay. Uh, here's a good one. Pizza. 800 views. <laughs> that looks good, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even, so like here's like an off, this is Daisy Douglas Park in Safety Harbor. And I, I thought it had a very nice mural. Um, so, so I put that up, you know, I knew, I know that park doesn't have a lot of um, photos, you know, so it was nice to put something there that made the park look very nice. You know, it's basically, a very small park with a basketball court, but it has an awesome mural. 
so I, I wanted to I wanted to share that. Um, so yeah, there is a way, Bill, to um, to sort it by views, but I'm not I'm not figuring that out right now. But now, is this part of? Can you use your Google Photos? Yes, very good question. Is it, that's exactly what I do. Um, I use, since I'm using Google Photos, it makes suggestions for me to, uh, to use them, basically. So, for instance, uh, let me go to my Google Photos. I think I have to go on my phone to do it. So, that it's two different, kind of two different uh, procedures. One that you, can anybody hear my cat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, she, she kept trying, the, and the reason why I'm in my bedroom was to stay away from the cat. <laughs> and they know where you live. She was Not being really nice. Place. She was out of the bed, and now she, should I let her in? Should I let her yes. join us? Yes. Okay. Here she is. Hi there. Oh. She's 18 years old. Now, if oh. I put you on the bed, are you going to be quiet? Ow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm right now. Right, Marcy has a quick question. Yes. So do you ever, when one of these, how can I say, every once in a while I go to Google Maps, the big, one, the big Google thing, and find things around the United States. Someone takes a picture, but then they do the whole 360. Can you... Can you do that and post that and they take that? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. You can. You can. Google Maps or Google Food? These um, well, you can do both. Um, yes, I, I, I can. You can do like, I, I'll show you how to upload photos. Um, yeah, she's not going to be staying in here very long. I can okay. <laughs> okay, say goodbye, Minnie. Bye. She can stay, John. I don't mind. Yeah, let her stay. Let her stay. Jeez. She's, gonna, she's just going to meow, and I'm not going to be able to concentrate. <laughs> and your photos. So it's going to go into all of my photos. I don't think I posted. Yeah, this is North City Park. That was, because I, I, I deliberately took a lot of photos that, put all these four on the sign. And it knows, I mean, because they have location on, it knows where it is. Select photos. Thanks for sharing. And then you can go contribute more. Let's see. Um, I want to share this. This is a video now. You don't see many videos. Oh, hang on, I didn't share it yet. Here we go. You don't see, this is like, I just uh, shot this today because I knew I wanted to share some video. Um, but if I go to my phone, I can find that same video. Let me see if I can, how well it looks if I show you my phone. Okay. So you see the video. There you go. Here's the video, right? Yeah. So what, I, what I'm going to do is um, there's a little share icon, just like I was showing you earlier. And this is good, too, because I can kind of show you how to do it on the phone because it's two different procedures. I'm going to hit share, right? And then this pops right up, add to maps. The little pin icon. I don't know how well you can see it on the... And then I'm going to hit, it says select a place. And then it suggests a couple different places, although it doesn't come up with, usually it finds it. But I'm going to put, uh, it was Felipe Park. And it came right up, Felipe Park. So I'm going to post the video. And then we'll we'll give it and then it uh it says you've earned seven points for helping others thank you so i got seven more points so google has to approve these 
if it's going out to the world, right? Yeah, it, it, it's definitely, it definitely goes through a, a, an approval procedure. Um, and probably it goes up pretty automatic unless it gets flagged for some reason. Or a lot of times, like, um, I might have posted it to the wrong park, you know. And one of the other Google guys will be like, oh, that's not a park. That's North City Park, you know. So... Um, Sometimes it'll get corrected. If it's something that's objectionable, probably somebody from Google monitors that, you know. Um, so not too sure how automatic it is. Uh, I just know that um, it takes a little while for me to see it. We'll, we'll see if, they, if, my vid, if my pictures go up before the class is over. These are relatively, um, you know, easy, easy, easy photos to review. So probably they'll go right through, you know. Um, okay, let's let's look at a couple others now. I'm going to share my screen again. This is a different park. That's Mullet Creek Park. So I'm going to take these photos. I think it was just those one, two, three, and that one, four. I'm going to take these photos of Mullet Creek Park. And uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to share them on my on my phone uh, to Google Maps. Take that one. One, two, three, four, four photos. Add to Maps. It actually gives you a choice of large size or actual size. Let's go with large size because we want to get the best quality. And then it says select a place, and I'm willing to bet, and that's weird. Well, the creek park didn't come up. I have to actually type it in. Sometimes it comes right up. Sometimes you have to tell it where it is. Mullet Creek Park, okay? I got um, that. Yep, I'm going to take that. And I just posted four more, fo four more photos. It also asked me, how was Mullet Creek Park, okay? <laughs> Now, honestly, it's a very tiny park in the middle of a bunch of different parks in Safety Harbor. Uh, I'm not going to give it a review because I don't want to be mean, but it's there's not much there. <laughs> uh, but it's a beautiful park. It's got, you know, it's it's set up real nice, but it's not, you're going to run out of things to do there real quick unless you're just going to have a picnic, you know. So I'm going to just give it four stars. I'm not going to give it a review, uh, and I'm going to post that too. So that got me one more point. Well, how Let's, do you get uh, to, to be a uh, Google mapper? Anybody can do it. Matter of fact, um, it'll, it'll actually um, ask you if you uh, want to be a Google guide when you, when you uh, start posting photos. And you see the little stars? Those are places that I've added as favorite places. Okay, so there's other things you can do with Google Maps other than, you know, um, get directions and add photos. If, if, if you, you know, if this is your favorite restaurant here, if this is your favorite movie theater here, you can add it as a favorite. And then when you're ready to go there, you just click on it and it'll give you, you know, photos of it. Okay. Or, or your photos. Or my photos, yeah. Yeah, like here's... Cape Cod Park, and then here's my photos. Where is that? Cape Cod Park is uh, over by um, Ruth Eckerd Hall, over oh. on uh, by the by the Cape Cod by Sam Ash over there. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's it's a very nice park. A lot of people don't know about it, uh, and and I just recently found out about it. But a lot of these places are uh, within bike riding for me. Um, Here's another one. Can anybody pronounce that? Because I can't. Shot. Shot to. Shot to aqua. Shot to aqua. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. I got Ooh. almost a thousand views on that one already, and I just Chautauqua. posted. Chautauqua. It's Chautauqua Park. Chautauqua. Thank you. Yes, it's very easy. It's it's pronounced just like it, <laughs> just like it's spelled, right? Where, Where is it? it? Uh, same area, same area. There's like three or four different parks in that same 
Uh, this one, I think, is a little more over near enterprise. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but it, there's, a, there's a very nice lake there. Um, and so, yeah, when, and whenever I go out on a bike ride, I, I kind of uh, um, take pictures. But yeah, you can see on the map that it will, uh, matter of fact, if, if I pull all the way out to Italy, it'll probably pop up the one, the, the There you go, you're there. Yep, yep, there's one of the hotels I stayed at. And I don't, I, I, for some reason, I don't see the, uh, the Coliseum. Maybe I have to add it as a favorite. I'm not sure. Wow. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I plan on taking um, plan on taking a lot of my photos from you know years past and putting them all up on Google Maps. You know, I just take everything that I shoot on my phone. I've got stuff from I've got video, and I mean, I can't post everything up there. But you know, what the heck? I want to be. I want to get to level ten. You know. <laughs> You want to get what? I want to get to a level 10 Google Guide. Oh, is that what the highest is? I guess so. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll invite me on one of their excursions if I uh, if I get up to 10. We'll see. <laughs> and, and bring your camera. Yeah, yeah. So um, some of the other things. Uh, here are the... Share my screen. I'm not real big on um, reviews. Uh, but a friend of mine, what happened to Rob? My friend Rob was in the waiting room and then he never came back. Um, I, I don't do very many, uh, reviews, but uh, a lot of people like doing them. And so, um, let's see, this was it's photos. Let's see if I can get to some of my... See, a lot of times I'll just add, add a couple of stars and I get lazy. You know, I like to I like to mostly put up photos and I'm not real big on the reviews, but I got a I got a few in here, you know. Basically just give the restaurant props if you had or or you know. Um this was um this was the St. Pete Pier. If you haven't been there, we're gonna go right now. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Uh that's the uh the sign. And get it to where, there we go. You can't get sued for don't for giving a bad restaurant review, can you? I don't think you can get sued. It's kind of public information, isn't it? Well, um, you know, you said something bad about their pasta dish <laughs> or something. I guess they could sue you. I guess I don't know. Uh, if well, I don't want to get into the, the legal stuff, but but uh, you're probably okay. We're seeing arrows um, at the bottom of your pictures. Does that mean that you're doing one of those, we can move it around and see the 360? I don't think so. I, I saw that on a few of your pictures. I think that was just having us go to the next picture, which I was doing, oh. but then it went from the pier back to um, back to Safety Harbor. You're in Italy again. Yeah, I'm in Italy. Now I'm now I'm in Tampa. Now I'm in Safety Harbor. There's the dog, there's Spectrum Field, there's okay, here's the pier again. Yeah, you talk about these arrows? Yeah. Yeah, th those were the hours I was pressing and when I was when I pressed it, let's see. Okay, now it's working. Go figure. Wow. Yeah, now, now we're back at the pier. Wow. So I just remember it was a really hot day and I didn't stay very long. Is that the new pier in St. Pete? This is the new pier, yeah. I figured, hey, let me go down there and take pictures before somebody else, you know, because there's not a lot of pictures of it. And, and I've gotten um, 300. I, I thought I was going to get more, but there's a lot of people going down there taking pictures. Uh -huh. This is kind of cool. I mean, it, they kind of made made it look like a, it's a beach, you know. it's You can swim in there now. It's right by the pier. Well, 
But How'd that happen? Everybody's pictures are going to Google Maps. What's that? Not everybody's pictures are going to Google Map like you. Well, um, there's um, there's a lot of uh, other people that are posting them. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they, have, they they did a really good job, I think, with between the artwork and um, now we're at Hooters. That's the end of the the pier. Um, so, but, but yeah, I mean, um, I, I kind of like to be, I wanted to be the, for, here's like, um, here's the Benoit and that it's that, that's in the same area basically. And so, yeah, they, they really cleaned up the, uh, the beaches there. They, they're, I don't know whether they added sand or what they did, but, uh, you could actually, there's summer again. She, look how look how tired she was from all the walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the Benoit. Uh That one got me uh, two thousand uh, views. I think um, recent photos get um, get the views first. It looks like because I've noticed that they get uh, a lot of the photos get views instantly, and then once you have them up a while. Um, they they, they kind of go. Um, you don't get as many, you know. Are you uh, are you labeling these like they're showing it? Well, um, Marina, good, that's a good question. When when you upload them, um, if Google if if Google Photos doesn't instantly tell you where it is, usually the first thing that'll come up it'll say Vinoy Park, and then if it's not Vinoy Park, then it'll it'll tell you it's somewhere else or you tell it it's somewhere else. So then I'll usually put in the first few letters and then it'll find it, you okay. know, but like, well, like the, the photos from um, Italy, I had to, I had to actually put it in because there was no location on those photos. I obviously, I took them on my Canon camera 15 years ago. So there's a lot of times you have to put stuff in manually, but, uh, but yeah, you'd be surprised how, um, how easily it, it finds it. If, if you have location on your camera, um, on your phone, it'll, it'll uh, suggest that, that photo, that location first. Nice. So, yeah, this very was... Nicely, very nicely done, John. Yeah, yeah. So, nice. thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. I took a lot of photos that day. There's the dog again. You notice the dog gets in a lot of photos? <laughs> Yeah, see that that was a that was a good long walk. See how far we were from the pier. Yep. Yeah. So now, so I got a couple of different parks to put that. I really like that photo. The the dude was just riding the skateboard, and and I and I and I got a photo of him. I wonder if he knows he's on Google Maps. There you go. <laughs> so. And of course, we don't have to get releases from these people. No, we were out in public. Here's um, a couple of photos I took at the Hard Rock uh, the last time I was there. You know, I, I really, the thing I like about the Hard Rock, since I'm a, I'm a rock and roll fan, uh, I really like seeing the different bands uh, displays. And so this was the band Rush. And they had a big, uh, the drummer just died recently. So they have a big tribute here. And that got, it's, I'm almost at a thousand views on that one. Wow. So you'd be surprised what'll get what'll get views on there. Uh, like for instance, food. Food gets so many reviews. They get so many reviews. It's it's not even funny. Um, you know, a guitar. It's a guitarist for Black Sabbath. Uh, more food. You know, there's. And then even from the hotel room, look, we got a beautiful view of the uh, the amphitheater. You know, which I, I probably should have listed that as the amphitheater and not the hotel. I might have gotten a few more views. Um, here's the uh, sponge docks. And you can see the full moon, which I thought was a good opportunity. Uh, the photo's not great, I don't think. It's a little blurry. I'm not too happy about the photo, but it got 1,500 views. This one got 1,400. You know, 
uh, more food. Sometimes I forget, sometimes when I go out to dinner, I forget to take pictures of the food, but you can see that when you do, uh, this one got 1500 views. Wow. You know, so, so yeah, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of exposure. Oh, here's a good one. This is when I was in uh, San Diego. 22,000. 22,000 views. And that was only um, two months ago. Oh my God. Yeah, this one's got 8,000. When, uh, when you go to the La Jolla Cove, you can, you can hear them. They're like, oh, 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 oh. you can hear them in the distance until you get closer. Uh, yeah, they're really, they're really cool. Then it gets deafening. It gets deafening and you can smell them too. <laughs> it smells like <that> fish. <laughs> this well, I saw one with over 8,000 views. Yep. How cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I knew they were good. This one's got almost 5,000, you know. So, um, and then Vegas. This was, uh, look, White Castle in Vegas. <laughs> 2,000 views. It doesn't take much. <laughs> no, no. Uh, the, the Vegas photos got a lot of, um, a lot of views. Here's the Mirage. The one I really liked was this one. Um, obviously, there's this was I actually went um, to Vegas uh, that uh, was in June when it when it reopened, um, and they still have the, um, the the Beatles. I guess they're having a um, a Beatles tribute at the Mirage, but they left it up even though that wasn't taking place, and I thought it made a nice. A nice photo. So that got a couple, couple thousand views. Wow. So uh, this pool view, sixteen thousand. Oh wow. That's a good. That's a good amount, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So um, my waffles, my blueberry waffles, even though they were half eaten, a lot of people wanted to see those. Unbelievable. What yeah. a mess. <laughs> this is in uh, San Diego again. This was my favorite. I used to live up, up the street from here. So I, uh, I took some photos of the, uh, the stone steps. It's called stone steps. That wasn't the Presidio, right? What? That wasn't the Presidio area. No, That's no, this is, this is uh, San Diego, North, North County, San Diego. Uh, this is the uh, the arena where the uh, the um, Las Vegas Golden Knights play the hockey team. Oh wow! Yeah, and that right. was from that was from New York, New York. So this is just and this isn't a, a great photo. It's just a picture of the beach. It's Pacific Beach in San Diego. Thirteen thousand views. You know so. Yeah, you, you can see that the, the views can, uh, oh, and this is what I wanted to show. I've been telling Bill about this. Uh, this is the Rock Garden. Wow, how my cool friend, is that? Uh, my friend Dave, uh, Dave's Rock Garden, he uh, oh. basically had a, a vacant lot lit that he, he didn't own it, the city owned it, and he, uh, he took it upon himself to make it beautiful. Wow. And uh, he's uh, these. There's a whole story behind it, but um, without going into it too far, I just wanted to share with you some of the some of the rocks that people had painted and and um, the landscaping that uh, that went into it. Very nice. Um, there's a there's a before photo somewhere. Um, here's Hollywood Boulevard, pretty much closed off. The, Chinese theater, uh, they have like barricades around it. So nobody was, it was closed, but uh, we wanted to pass by it. And that, that got uh, 2,000 views. Not hey, a great photo, so I kind of took it from the car. This is the, uh, the Raiders new stadium. Wow. 
Yeah, it's 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 a dome. It's this was just taken from the from the freeway. But yeah, that got six hundred views. And where is that? Las Vegas. Oh wow. Las Vegas Raiders. Wow, we could that cool. is uh, Laguna Beach. Uh, here's one with ten here's one with ten thousand. It's just Planet Hollywood. I don't know why it got so many views. I don't think it's a very good photo. <laughs> You never know. No, you the don't. The National Football League cheerleaders will wow. be in next July. This is an empty mall in Las oh Vegas. My oh my. Ninety thousand views. Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Uh, I uh I haven't stopped by this this um this portion of my photos and I didn't realize that that one had so many it's probably because it's the only one of of the ball empty like that yeah and when, uh, when was this oh, this is in an out burger if you've never been to in and out burger they've got really good burgers that's got like 50,000 views and it, again, it's not really a good photo. The, the fountain's not going. It's just a wide shot. But I think the burger, it's, the burger speaks for itself, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you keep leaving us with half of your lunch and stuff. We're going to be, uh, here's um, the Cosmopolitan Pool in Vegas. This has got about 100,000 views almost. Uh, so. Nice view of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I got a better, better pictures of that too. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't even been um, by these photos in a while. Now, now we're back in, uh, now we're back in Safety Harbor. Um, if 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 you never get a chance to to go on the nature trail there, uh, Marcy, I know you're into to birds. No. Um, no. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I mean yeah. <laughs> um, but like yeah, that's a great place to uh, to get some good uh, bird shots. Um, this is the Safety Harbor Music Center, and you can see the the little elephant there is wearing a mask. How cool! <laughs> so. Um, but uh, I've, I've done quite a bit of talking here, and, and, and uh, I, would, I was wondering if you had some, uh, some other questions. It's, well, you know, this, is, I, this is an interactive class. All right. Well, I'd like to, you said, bring your photos. And I mean, my photos are on like the Google Photos. Okay. So am I able to access some of those? How would we go about Well, that? um... Yeah, I, I, you don't have the ability to um, share your screen, I don't think, uh, or you, or you do, right? You have to do it. I would like to see some more of this safety harbor. Okay, well, I got plenty of safety harbor to show you. Well, you can press on those um, on the arrows because two years ago, when safety harbor was um and that new pier that we were just on right there yeah. um was coming together and everything tom and i did all the planting with um keep vanillas beautiful we oh, did, all, did? The planting all around that pier and in Here. the water and all of the park area right behind i got uh, the perfect how about right the does that look familiar i don't see it oh yes yeah. Yeah, there's there's like a nice little um sandy beach area there. Were you involved with that? Yes. Yeah. And, and where is that located? The, right in Safety Harbor, right? You see the pier here? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a little waterfront park and then there's a um there's area here for like windsurfers. This was a very windy day. Is that uh, near oh, Felipe Park? Though? Isn't that near Felipe Park? No, no. The other side of town. It's down the road from there. Yeah, it's the other. It's the other side of town. Oh, uh, south, south. You're talking about, about south. Away. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, I know. All right. Pretty yeah. Neat. Uh, yeah, that there was a uh, lot of windsurfers the day I went, which is cool. You don't you don't see that very often, and there was waves too, which you also don't see very often. Um, and the white caps. So, yeah, I got some good shots. I'm thinking with the storm coming in that we might see some waves in the in the bay. Uh huh. Well, we're we're kind of lucky right now. It's sort of yeah. No, we're on, we're on the we're on the right end of it. We're not getting all that all that. Uh, Oh, category okay. four, man. Yeah, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be bad, and I have a feeling that the golf is gonna be very uh, very active in the next uh, next couple of days. We're uh, we're in the middle of August here. By the way, I don't know if you you folks knew knew this, but uh, this video uh, once I edit it will go up on the library's YouTube page, so um, right. you'll be which, able to watch it which, again. Which video? This one. This is a, yes, we're we're creating a video right now. Yeah, it but says recording. You're part of it. My hair isn't done. Marcy, Mar Mar we spoke about this, and I told you to make sure your hair was done. <laughs> so there was a thing I was doing earlier, um, and and I wanted to show you the video too because it, the the lady was explaining how to make your own um, your own map basically. And so what I was doing was I was taking all the maps, all the um, parks and Safety Harbor and putting them on a map. So I just wanted to kind of show you that, but um, I need her help in getting into that screen. Yep. Yeah. That I haven't, like Flanagan's Irish Pub, okay? I know I love that place. So I can give it five stars. Yes, And then definitely. I can put in a review. I don't know if... I probably have a photo somewhere, but you can kind of see how you can, you know, uh, great food and atmosphere. Yeah, that's a great restaurant. You've been there, right? Yeah, that's a cool place. Yeah. In Dunedin? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, every time you go somewhere, you check in somewhere it gives you the opportunity to write a review. You know, like the Chiquata, did I say that right, Marcy? Chiquata Park? Chippaquata. Chippaquata, yeah. Even look, Pets, I'm, it, it, you know, it, it knows too much. I was at PetSmart. <laughs> I, um, I have my location turned on, so, uh, which brings me to another interesting thing on, on Google. Uh, now, this is a little scary because you could probably get into trouble if, you, <laughs> if you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be. Okay. Uh, but this is my timeline of where I've been the last week or so. The Doesn't last look like week? Look at that. Every oh, day. God. Right? Yeah. You could get into trouble like that. So you, yes. if you, if you don't want people to know where you're going, make sure yes. you have that turned off. That is information overload. Yes, Bad. yes. Wow. I'm very happy to let everybody know where I've been. I mean, I'm not sharing. This isn't going out to the public. This yeah, is it only is because we're being we're being recorded. Well, John. yeah, right, right now it is. <laughs> yeah, but but I mean, see, it's locked. Um. So, uh, yeah. I would probably, when we when we do the video, I'll probably edit that out because you can see my address on there, and that's not cool, right? Oh, so you can you can edit what we're doing tonight? I'm going to, yes, yes. yes I don't know you were you were in my last class, Marcy. Uh, here, let me get back on camera. Yeah, um, you were in my last class, Marcy, when we did the video for social media. Yes. And so, if you go to the Clearwater Libraries um, YouTube page, they've been posting a lot of videos. You can see that now, right? Yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is all the library's videos. I'm going to go to a different view here. Yeah, they've been really busy in the last couple of weeks. I don't see us on there. Uh, we're here. We're here. They've just been posting so much stuff that here we are. There's video for smartphones. I don't think you were at that one, Marcy. But I think 
maybe you were there, Bill. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Remember you had that other fellow there and I loaded up some Instagram stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's yeah. that one. Uh, you know, it might have expired, Marcy. I don't see the other one. Oh, I see. Oh, where's the one with your face on there? Where's that? Yeah, I see. That one is still up, but the uh, video for social media, it, may get um, it, it might have expired. They only uh, keep it up for so long. Oh, so. Thank God. But, uh, but yeah, but for sure, um, for sure you will, uh, I will uh, edit the, the highlights of this and, uh, and show, you, show you my photos and, uh, and you'll be very happy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, you we'll can, to get back to the library too. I will be very happy when we could actually have classes at the library. Yeah, yeah, I miss it. I miss it. Um, check this out. Now, I don't know if this is a new feature. It's maybe giving you bike trails, homework. Yeah, yeah. and I was I was saying the other day. Wow, I, I wish there was an app because when you when you use Google. Um, maps to bicycle, it doesn't tell you about all the shortcuts you can take with the bicycle. Wow. So I'm wondering if they're onto something here because here's those parks I was telling you about, Bill. K-Pok Park, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Lake Park, yeah. And, yeah. and you can see in, that they're all Pinellas. bike, these are all bike trails. And then Pinellas, you know, the funny thing is they don't have one for Felipe Park. Why don't they, that's crazy, well, along um, that trail. He didn't go up north enough. Oh well, no, right there it says. Here Here's Felipe Park here. But you're, no, you're right, Bill. No, no, it's, it's on the water. There it is. Yeah. You see a bike path there right along there? It's, it's sort of a bike trail. It, it, it's kind of not really a bike trail. They've built a, they built a, a bridge here so that you can pedal along Bayshore. But Bayshore is not really a, a bike trail. It's an actual street. No, I, but I see a lot of bicycles on their way to and from on Bayshore. Oh, so. definitely. It's definitely, but it's, it's, it's not officially a trail. It's more of a sidewalk. Um, when you get into Clearwater, then you get into the Ream Trail, which is down here. And it, uh, it goes, it's a very nice trail or a very nice place to walk also. And it'll actually take you all the way to uh, Spectrum Field, uh -huh. all the way out here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it, it goes to uh, Moccasin Lake Park. It goes over McMullen Booth, under 19, and you end up here. And then there's another trail here called the Progress Energy Trail. And uh, the next class, I'll have pictures of all of this. <laughs> I actually was on there. Uh, I took that trail partially to get to Clearwater Beach when I, when I rode there. Mm -hmm. Now, That's who, cool. puts, who puts this together? Miss Google or people like you? This is, yeah, this is Google. Google puts together the maps. They put together the trails. Um, and that was just something I found. It, it, all it said was, you see here, all it said was bicycling. It doesn't give you, it, it must be a work in progress because um, that, that's all it said and, and that's, and I clicked on it. I, I did that the other day. I'm like, oh, what's this? See now my, um, my screens are changing. Like there's my timeline. So I, I would suggest um, just kind of go into, um, kind of go into Google, Google Maps I would, I would, if you're, if you're watching on your, um, on your computer, which you both are, and anybody else in the room, uh, I think you have better control when you're on your computer.
I unmuted myself. Oh, okay. Can you hear us? John, if we can do this at the library, would it be a six o'clock class or later? No, it's, it's not going to be at the library. It's going to oh, be uh, virtual like this is. So is that class on the 24th, is the, the one you just spoke of, is that the one you're going to do the video editing for Da Vinci? Yeah. Um, you have some experience in Da Vinci? I downloaded it recently and it's- Okay, um, good. Good. Uh, learn all you can about it because you're going to have to help me through it. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> I've uh, I've been been uh, poking around in it and it does a lot. It does more than Premiere Elements does, and you p you pay for Premiere Elements. Uh, but it, it, it's go ahead. Also, VideoPad, NCH VideoPad has a free level, which is like uh, like a junior high level of learning that you would then graduate to DaVinci because it's more, it's kind of like Premiere Pro, but not as hard. And okay. then DaVinci is like, uh, you know, the Olympics of video editing. Yeah. It, it's, and that's free uh, also. So both of yeah. those are free. I, I think, I think their, their idea is, you know, they, they kind of dangle the carrot and then it, they maybe leave a couple of things out, but I don't know that from what I saw, there was a lot there that I would be happy with for a long time. Da Vinci Without advertises, upgrade. they advertise that that uh, download you get is full featured. Nothing yeah. is left out, and which is okay. outrageously wonderful. Yeah, it, it's, it, if you have a chance to uh, check out Da Vinci, uh, I'm going to be, uh, we got about a month till that class. So um, I've got, uh, I've got some work to do. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you a couple things on there. Um, it's, it's hard to go from something that you've worked with Premiere for over, over 10 years to get into something different. Um, but I noticed it was very user friendly. So if you're, um, if you're not an editor, Bill, yeah, not, I would say download DaVinci in practice. Put some and do what download and what practice. Oh, practice, yes. Practice. Yes, so you, yes. Yeah. Okay. All um, right. So, so, how, so how much is it so cost to on, download? That's on the twenty fourth. Now it's a it's at a weird time. Okay. Eleven o'clock at night. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. All right. What happened to the six p.m. Uh, you don't get, don't, don't let me get started with that. <laughs> we have to do it when the library is open, apparently. So that's, so I'm just being compliant. So two to four. Two to okay. four, yeah. And then the other class I'm doing, I'm calling it um, video production for social, social media, which is um, kind of a advanced class from the other uh, video for social media class that, that we did. Uh, but what I what I want to talk about more is, you know, when you want, you know, how the quality of YouTube is very not so good. If even the even the the even the people that we've we've talked about how some of those people are making millions of dollars, but they the the video that I see jump cuts, I see I see I see places where they could be using b-roll or extra shots and they're not doing it and so i, I want to kind of show people that you don't have to be a genius in editing to uh make uh quality youtube videos you know just because people are watching your youtube videos it doesn't mean that your quality is good in my opinion that's right and we've all seen the bad videos on youtube that have a million views it kind of makes me sad, but it is what it is, you know, so. Yeah, we got it. We're back in so the these are, these are the photos I just posted earlier from my phone. Yes. So they're up there now, and they've gotten six views, seven views. So in the, in the time we were talking here, people cruised by and saw my video. There's two views on my video. So... So that's a, that's about how long it took um, to uh, to get them published. It didn't take very long. A few hours, yeah. No, well, not even because we 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 haven't been, that, you know, maybe less than an hour or, oh, or less. Oh, you just posted them while we've been in 
Ah. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I think my cat wants to get wants to come back. Should we let her in? Yeah. Okay. Here, watch this. I like your kitty cat, John. Jeez. Oh, I like her too, but she's very obnoxious. Hi, Benny. You can stay in here if you're quiet. Yeah, just take them off. She'll be fine. <laughs> She'll be fine. Why don't you come up with a really good video shots of hundreds of your feline friend? <laughs> yeah, that would make a good post. You'd have thousands. <laughs> um, How many pictures do you have? You must have tons of them. I have to tell you that I've tried and tried with my Been cats. That I've tried to make viral videos with my cats on numerous occasions, and they would not cooperate. Um, and even when I, even when they did cooperate, um, nobody thought they were funny. And so I continue to try and try to make a viral video with my cats. But uh, yeah, I, I did get one um, back in public access days where. Uh, Boo Boo was playing with uh, catching balls and uh, not balls, but paper. And that was kind of a hit, but, uh, but yeah, nothing that's uh, made me a uh, million dollars yet. What I was going to ask you, like when Facebook and actually Google, you can create albums. So do you, are you doing that kind of thing with your parts? I do that, I do that in my, so like here, uh, you know that if you, you click on this menu here, you can go to any Google product, right? So yeah. if I go here to my Google Photos. Right, All right. Right, yeah. and I think I showed you this in the social media class. Yeah, you, you have lots of different um, different photos, but that doesn't mean that they're on Google Maps. Hi, Benny. <laughs> So have you created much of the album scene? Well, yeah, that's what I was, I was just showing you the, the different photos that I have, but no, you, you, there's, you can't really show, you can't really have folders on Google maps. Basically you're just posting, um, you know, single shots, single shots. Yeah. Yeah, you you can you can upload like if you go to like like if I go to Felipe Park and upload twenty photos, they'll all go up in in the basically their folder, the, the Felipe Park folder, you know. But it, it, um, let's see if I can upload some more photos and see it. Let's see how long it takes to have them um, have them become active. That was a hello. That was hello. Okay, I got some food. I'm gonna post some food. <laughs> right at dinner time. That's great. This is from the world of beer. They have good food, by the way. So now I'm just gonna. Ref I'm just. I'm just trying to refresh here and see if those photos went. Can't imagine they would. Yeah, it's already. They're already up. Look at that. Does that look good? Yeah. Where's this restaurant? It's, a, it's a, believe it or not, it's the world of beer. Oh, world of beer. I see it up here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Those are the um, mac and cheese ball, mac and cheese bites, oh. which sounded sounded awful, but they were really good. That is, I didn't like, it's really uh, taken a long time to load, maybe because I just uploaded it. And probably busy pizza. Time. Pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then that is. That was the pizza. Yeah. Now I'm trying to upload. The, I'm trying to show you the pretzel, and the pretzel is not loading. But but that went up pretty quick, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Didn't let me it? see how. So that's if I if I can uh, upload them pretty quick on my phone, I can share them with you pretty quickly. Uh, are you seeing a black screen? Yep. Yes. Yeah, for some reason the pretzel doesn't want to load, but I'll let you look at the mac and cheese. I think that's like the artichoke 
Yep, in the corner there. Okay, this is, I'm gonna post something from the Progress Energy Trail. Get to maps. And it's a, it's a cool photo because the clouds are really. Um, well, this looks good. That looks good enough to eat for tonight. If you're not already subscribed to Google Photos, oh, um, yeah. And if you're um, sharing photos, are, are you? Do, do you know if you're, you are? Oh, yeah. Um, Google. Using Google Photos, okay. So yes. um, you should be able to um, share your photos from your phone. Uh, make sure you have, you should automatic, if you have a Google, if you have um, Google and you have an account, you probably have the um, Google Maps app yeah i've seen that floating yeah around. so um from your google photos uh see if you can upload something to maps download the download make sure you have the google photos app make sure you have the google uh, maps app and then go into google maps and go into where it says contribute now that i think i can show you yep yep okay so photos, and then if you go to contribute, add your photos to maps. Okay, you click on here, right? And see, now that was a different way to do it. Um, you see how I did that? That was the other way that I was telling you that, that there's one more way to do it. Go into contribute. You go to Google, you go to your Google Photos, and you go to Google Maps, add your photos to Maps. And then... Those four are going to go on the map, those four that you're pointing to. Yeah. Uh, here, this is the... North City Park. Uh, here we go. Safety Harbor Nature Boardwalk. There's two there. That's taken from the uh, and share. Takes a little bit. Thanks for sharing. You know how they. You know how it is. There's ten different ways to do the same thing. Yep. Yep. It just, it just took me going from that you can do it from your phone there's there's like three different ways to do it but that that was a way you can do it but you have to have google photos in order to do it that way i'm good i got i got plenty i've been using that near yeah, the google drive yeah also, it's, it's much easier to do it from your phone but if you do it from the computer that the way i just showed you is the way to do it you want to try you want to try one more yeah contribute you see that picture of me with the helmet? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to post it. I don't know where Woodgate Park is. I think it's somewhere along the trail in Clearwater. I'm just going to post it. Here it is right here in the center. It's in the center of your map. You Woodgate, just up. Yeah, Woodgate Park. Just to the... Um, up. Thanks for sharing. And look, my... Um, my cheese, my uh, mac and cheese pie have already have eight views, and the pizza's got nine views. So, so somebody's looking for that place right now and saying, "Oh, look, they have good food." This guy John, he uh, he had some good food there. I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Guy <laughs> John gets around. Yeah, yeah. I think this would be a lot better class in person, uh, but. Um, I got to share my photos with you, and um, hopefully you guys will, uh, and ladies, will um, go and do this yourself. Yes, we're going to do that, John. Okay. Marcy, you're going to share some photos on, on Google Maps? I'm going to try. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm always around to help. And uh, Well, when is the next class? Get that ready.
Um, so Give the next class I'm doing is going to be um, September 24th. And you know, we, you know how we used to do the editing class at the library? Yep. Well, they asked if there was a way they can do it because um, do it from home. And I was like, well, everybody kind of needs to have the software and everybody doesn't have the software and we don't want to have to check out laptops and whatnot. <laughs> so um, I was able to find a couple of different um, editing softwares that are free. And the one I liked the best uh, was called DaVinci, like the artist. And I was able to uh, download DaVinci uh, for free, September 29th, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, video production for social media, for YouTube and social media. It's mostly YouTube, but um, I know that there's uh, some people that like to post their photos up on Facebook, so I don't want to leave, leave that out. And Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming, everybody, and uh, we will see you soon, okay? Yes, good luck, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, good luck. We're going to follow.